Welcome back. I am your host, SK Gitonga. This is Unfinished. We are talking about love, wealth, and money. On to our third question. In case of a divorce, do you think the wife should be able to share half of her wealth with the man in a case that she is wealthier than the husband? Let me know what you think. Uh, according to me, I won't allow that. Uh, I don't think it is appropriate for a woman to give half of the wealth to a man. If it was hers, then I think she is just supposed to go with the wealth and uh, mine to remain mine and hers to remain hers, yes. Um, for that case, I will say that uh, now it depends. You know, you've talked about when the a lady is rich. Now, I may wish to ask you something. I don't know whether you can allow me. Okay. Now, I, I can say that uh, it should be that way. Because you find that uh, maybe this woman has been living with this husband for over years. And uh, maybe all of them contributed. Maybe, you know, you've said that it is the woman with the own of this wealth. Even if she's the owner of the wealth, you may find that also the husband contributed in some part of the wealth. So may I propose that when they want to divorce, the woman should give some part of the wealth to his husband, to her husband, I mean. Because maybe husband also contributed. Yeah, so I propose that she will, should give her husband some part of the wealth. I actually don't agree with that one. I think it depends if we have been looking for that wealth together, maybe me and my wife, we have been looking for that wealth. I took part to get that wealth and then we should share. But if the wealth belongs to the woman, like I was not involved in, you know, looking for that wealth, mm, so I don't think that will be maybe just an agreement huh? if you want to share the world with your man or not after divorce, but I don't think it is a must for a woman to share the world with the man after divorce. I'll, I'll give you a question so that I, I should not give you a question. <laughs> if it's right for a man to give a, a woman half of his wealth, why is it wrong? Why do you feel it's wrong for a woman to give half of her wealth to the man? So we, we are t here we are talking of a matter of equality. So if, if it's the lady who has more money than the man, then she should give the money to the man. But if it's the man, let be equal. Kama ni uko na mingi, ama ni mimi, ni sawa. Like the case of uh, Hakimi. The lady filed a divorce so that she can get half of the footballer's money. Now, yeah, I see most of the women feeling it bad. Now it's the woman who is giving half of the money. It's right. Let, let we are fight. it's a matter of equality. We are not, let's not create an us versus them. Like it's, it's, it's men against women. We are saying let's be equal. So if it's the woman who has more money than the man, let her give the man the money. If he or wealth, or little of total or really, of course, lazima, lazima wata share. If well, then he will go to Monomke and he will go to Janama, he will go to Nayo. I can write a kujiake, the same, same thing, ama, vice versa mwanaume kama yeye ndo alijitafutia pesa mwanamke hana right ya kuitisha pesa um whatever should be given back is what what is in the marriage same i have a property you have yours we should divide katikati because that the law you accepted to sign the contract the marriage contract so it is it should be uh, as per the law to govern your wealth katikati. If, if I have nothing, you have something, you need to govern katikati because we are one in the marriage. But now we have decided to separate. So you separate everything regardless of whichever party it is. Yeah, because I accepted that. Yeah, I think so. Because uh, feminists are fighting for equality. Men and women equal. So in a month, if a man can, uh, after divorce, like uh, a lady and a school half, yeah, wealthy yeah, the man. Why not the other way around? So that's the question. So I come out of history, I mean, I expect the lady at square half of the of the wealth, yeah, though maybe at attacker, but uh, feminist to one be a baby. 
because wao ndo na kuanga wameka hii agenda sana i call it wana semanga ya bwana ni yetu na yangu ni yangu so no <sighs> it depends if you created that the world together then it's okay but if the world is hers i don't think she could she can share with uh, with the husband it's not okay because you see as for me I, i'm a man i'm supposed to look for that well to create that wealth for my family and for my wife but not for my wa- wife to create that wealth for me to share you know it's it's a shame for a man yeah whoever is living achamali if i kwa ati mwenye kwa na vitu mingi ndio ati anagawa ama anything of the sort here yeah? cuz okay um probably value i'm saying ni higher but you are earning more now yeah here in a very different dynamic yeah it changes everything so um should the woman give half of her wealth um whoever is living should give half of the wealth yeah whether it's the guy the lady yeah but kama ukweli yenyewe boy child tumekanyagiwa sana yeah yezi kuwa ni always grow the girl child always grow the girl child yeah uh, so I'm, i support personally if um i was in a space where i'm getting divorced it would be a metoboka manze ah no msi amini yo basically let us generally your idea yote ya kupeana half of your wealth mimi naona ina inflate unachoka kama hiyo swali yako ya kwanza people are dating for love and wealth exactly is ni one of the reasons unapata wasi wana date for wealth cuz already kwa akili ashaeka umse simpendi but nikimdate miaka 2 3 hivi tu waone tukiachana na kata half Unaona zima zima wase wakae hivyo vile tulipotana tuachane hivyo hivyo na mimi naona ijalishi wewe ni boy wewe ni dem wache kae hivyo si ulinipenda vile niko kae hivyo yeah. I'm not sure okay you woman mostly okay in most cases Kenya ukiona okay, woman na mingi amekuja kwa mapenzi ya kujangi na anything ah kujangi na anything so anything I may gain I may gain akiwa hapo hivyo na mwanaume so kama mwanaume anafaa give up of office wealth to the woman woman pia nafa i give up of it to the to the man so my share in 50 50 squeeze so me no neither me no neither to you if you have kids and you have divorced hey, if i go with my children i can't give you my wealth i'll go with my wealth with my children yeah never <laughs> uh for me uh, uh, absolutely yes because uh, as it stands uh, we are fighting uh, for equality and uh, the law says uh, that is what should happen uh, sana sana the man ndona and a girl and if the table stand then the woman pia nafaa kuwa uh, able to yani uh, the law should apply also to the woman agawe pia mali yake yakona personally i feel like this feels so wrong in so many perspectives because in an instance where the woman had kids and she decides to move on or move in with her kids how is she supposed to take care of them and second i feel like men are just supposed to be natural providers on to our last question who do you think suffers most in a divorce is it the father the mother or the kids let me know what you think i think the children because they are innocent yeah i think the children uh, suffers most because they are innocent they don't know what is happening uh, they are just uh, they are let me say they are bullied yeah they suffer most children suffers most reason being when a divorce has taken place the woman will go her way maybe if if husband is not caring he will also go his way then the children will be left alone and you may find that the children are under age if maybe they have not even reached to attend the the adult age so you will find that they may not even have that chance to secure job maybe they have not even done with primary level of education so and some let me say that even in, for example in that community or that society people are, care, are not caring so you will find that there are no there are no people to take care of these children and 
you know, for instance, some, some women, women, if divorce has taken place, they go their way. Uh, actually, you know, with the men, most of them are not caring. Yeah. So you will find that their, the children suffer most because there will, be no, there will be no one to take care of them. Yeah. So I propose that it is the children who suffers most when divorce has taken place. I think the children suffers most during a divorce because for a man you can go and get another wife. For a lady you can go and get another man and you just let it go, you forget about you know, your man or your, your, your woman. But for children they will never get another mother or another father. So they will always be lacking throughout their life. You know, you lack that care, you lack you know, the parental care and you can't get such parents wherever you go. Even when you are adopted, the love will never be the same. So I feel the children suffer most. It's the children. Because uh, when, when either the husband is stressed or, or the woman, the children suffer the most. Because you find that wanasemaga fahali wakipigana nyasindi humia. So it's the children who suffers most. Okay, I think kids wanaitaji wazazi wote wawili okay after divorce lazima kutakuwa na hizo fights za za custody na nini hii inakuanga like watoi watoi wako katikati unavuna unaona eh noezi ganisha watoi so it's either mtu ya tamis love ya babake ama ya mamake unaona juu na wadde sa kuna vine ni ngumu sana ku co-parent unaona who suffers more is the kids because the kids were not there when you signed the contract of the marriage so the person who suffers the most the kids the lady can uh, can cater for herself the man can cater for the, for herself but the children want to suffer for the for a thing that they were not involved in making it yeah so it's the kid the kids most but people claim it's the wife whether the wife goes to the children or not it is the children that suffer the most how do you what happened between you two they don't know even what caused the divorce. You, you are involving them in things that they don't know. That's why you find many children, when you grow up, they tend to divorce so much because they saw the parents go through a lot. Now that you could go through that a lot. That's why they are, when you, when you try to dress for single parents, wazazi wao kuna venyo alikuwa na shida shida. Ama, wazazi wao ali divorce inyo wakiwa wadogo. So you find these people, our day experience their father's love. So they don't know um, how a man should love a lady. So I'm a too. It's just a mother. So if my mother was a single parent, I can also be a single parent. The children. Yeah, because uh, they don't understand like what really happened between the two people. Like children on a core, like uh, on a, they suffer the, the, the divorce between the, the most yani. Because obviously the husband, the wife, obviously claim to suffer, but children on a core, the aftermath yani, uh, results does now affect excess. Because maybe Mugina and Afa and I issue a single parent, sasa ama maybe of something. So you're, you're away from your parents or something. Eh? So ni, it's hard for the children, I think so. It depends on the amount of love that they have. For example, kama the man loved me so much, I'll suffer. At the same time, the kids will suffer too, because both parents. So if they divide, it's like, teme, wane, wane kushina the father will be able to with my mom. The children, definitely, the children, because you see, um, once that divorce is there, either way, you see, um, if uh, the the father will not be there, you see, definitely, they they'll be missing that fatherly figure in the in the family. The same case with the mother. So, I would say, the children will suffer. Yeah, yeah. Um, well response yangu previous inanipeana kwa hii yeah. obviously ni mjamaa cuz um ukifactor in everything else um in a in a, in a low setup here yeah? ama like a court setup the chances that it end up to kwa ni mjamaa ame tolewa do yake ama like half of his assets are, are off yeah? ni very high it doesn't matter whatever this woman is earning doesn't matter whatever she owns or all that here yeah? and uh, the fact that argument yake pia inaweza kuwa emotional distress sijui ati aliumizwa na nani wapi yeah. ni saw maybe there was some shit physical that is leading to this divorce ama whatever other background to the divorce but that doesn't really matter 
Okay. What matters is you all are actually splitting up and um mimi vile mimi najua eh majamaa umi anaiki tumba. Kama kuna kids of course ni husband. But kama kuna kids mimi na ni wow. Cuz na cheki kuachanishwa na your parents kwanza ukiwa young and stuff in a mess with your identity be crazy like how do you fought na nani how do you kweka na nani but na check you kiwa na wote pamoja in the same space ina kupea design unaweza grow hauta feel ni kama you have to pick one or the other unani get so basically ni kids but kama hakuna ai wa baba hey watu wateseka huko nje sijui hey watch out eh ni watoto ni watoto jipe mimi niko na experience yeah una missing okay unajua ukiwa na baba na mama na hongo sawa lakini ukiwa na one parent oh mostly una envy watu wako na both parents una yani like how does it feel to have a mother a father or a mother mtu kwa na hizo masole yeah children because the divorce we have decided me and my partner the children will suffer because maybe I'll go with them they want their father children will suffer all of them but sana sana watu wii watu wengi wataumia kwa sababu uh, lack of uh, parents both parents uh, in a family uh, really uh, results yani consequences zake zina zitaonekana tu if either the mom or let's say the dad ayuko kwa picture it's a single parent uh, lazima kutakuwa na uh, consequences ya hiyo so like uh, ata kama the, the Uh, spouses watasafa watu wengi watasafa sana ku kuliko wazazi wao I personally feel like both adults get to suffer emotional damage but now the kids suffer most because they end up being raised by single parents and they lack love from one side of uh, either the father or the mother so I just feel like mpendane tu why do you have to divorce We have come to the end of the show. I am your host SK Gitonga. Follow me on all social media platforms. See you then.